I am the professor, the professor, Julius Sumner Miller. How do you do, ladies and gentlemen, men and women and people? I am the real, even though this is a house, a castle of extremely strange things. We continue from our first recitation on the strange behavior of thermally excited pipes. You remember what we had? We had a metal pipe in which I lodged a screen, a wire gauze, and we applied some thermal energy there, we heated it, and in this position the pipe sang, and in this position it did not. We need to say a word about that because uh, e there, is, there is even some explanation for things magical. Let me draw the pipe again. Here it is. And I put a screen in it. And then I put some energy thermally. I heated it. Now, what is the origin of sound as from my voice here? A compressional wave. A compressional wave. Indeed, may I suggest you do as follows. Hold your hand in front of your mouth in such a manner and talk loud and strong. Ho, ho! And you feel the changes in pressure on your hand created by the air emerging from your lungs and formed into words such as you now hear by the shape of your mouth and the presence of your teeth and where your tongue is and how your lips are put together. It is all a wonderful thing to inquire into. So, I heated the screen. Instantly, air passing up by convection was heated, so there went successively up the pipe some condensations and rarefactions. Now, these are pretty big words for young people, and so I suggest you explore them with your teacher, you read in physics books, and uh, you look them up yourself. So, Thus was the sound produced. Now those pipes were metal pipes. And we have even something more strange indeed. Here is a cardboard pipe. And I'd like the camera to look at me through this pipe and see my face. Yes, where am I? There's my nose. Most obvious. Now that pipe, we would say, is empty. Oh, oh, no, no, no. That pipe has air in it, so it is not empty. Indeed, somebody might say, it is filled with air. No, it is not that, because we could put more in it. So what am I pointing out? We must be very precise in our language for it to have a proper meaning. Now, remember, in the metal pipes, I heated the screen, then I took the pipe away. But watch this. It is going to sing while we energize it, while we heat it. Watch, listen. Oh, no hurt. Huh. Notice we have some air. That's all right. We have trouble, of course. Science, physics, a longer pipe. Sounds like a steamboat on the Mississippi. Now I'm going to get a longer one. A very long one. A very, goes to the top of the studio. In fact, I'm going to have trouble. And so, we are led to another kind of inquiry. Why do these cardboard pipes sing while they are being excited whereas the metal pipes sing after they are excited. And to this we shall return in another program with much more exciting things to explore. And I thank you for watching.